Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know, Mary Day, where have you been? Like, what is going on? I just want to apologize you guys like i have been busting my ass in real life who knew who knew running a salon could be this like tasking and demanding like it's just been crazy for me and i apologize and i hope you guys are being patient like i did not know what i was getting myself into and then i got into it and i was just overwhelmed and tired and overworked and just we thank god but um business has been doing really really well thank you lord <laughs> uh, so today my amazing team of braiders will be showing you guys how we did this look this is a half up half down half stitch braids half crochet in the back um a lot of people have been doing this trend with um like human hair like you know bundles and stuff but i've always done this with crochet hair i think it looks better with crochet hair it's less heavy it's just lightweight easy fun quick when you do it with crochet um and that's what we're going to be showing you guys today right now we're just blow drying her hair giving it a nice little stretch the little bottle you see right there is mazani um miracle mist uh, we're applying that onto the hair as a leave-in and then blow drying it out and it also has um, a little bit of heat protectant in it as well uh, and right now we're just sectioning the hair into two the front half is going to be the cornrows the stitch braids obviously and then the back is going to be the crochet we're going to be doing illusion crochet in the back and i will show you guys the braid pattern in a little bit so you guys make sure you check our description you'll find links to any hair that we use 99.9% um, of the hair we use at our salon is by us <laughs> so we have a line of braiding hair crochet products everything I just wanted to supply my clients with amazing selection of hair that they can you know pick from and also be inspired by you know to create different fun looks and that's exactly what we did at braiders club so um here we are so right now we're just starting off her hair with a little piece of braiding hair just to give it some you know longevity and hold and then we're going to be doing like a circular braid pattern for this look because we want the crochet hair to fall very nicely and very natural looking and in order for that to happen you have to do a circular braid pattern and that's what we are doing um oh guys i wanted to also ask you guys for a favor so uh, i am just okay so in nigeria i don't know i can't seem to figure out how to get people to leave reviews um maybe because of data or just the inconvenience of asking for google reviews um but i don't have a lot of google reviews and i really need you guys to help me out so if you haven't been enjoying my content you know you've been watching my videos for years just go on google i'll put a link for you guys just help me leave a review of you know any of the hairstyles that you've seen that you like and if you've also been a client of mine go ahead and leave a review as well that would be so so helpful you guys please 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 because like in nigeria people are more likely to leave you bad reviews than they are good reviews and it's just really irritating so please help a sister out like i'm begging you guys i need google visibility so please 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 help us out with the reviews i'll put the link in the description um and just let me know what you like about this channel let me know which favorite hairstyles you like just anything just let me know uh, or how you enjoy our videos just anything you want to say say you know good bad it's up to you hopefully good <laughs> but um yeah you guys so this is what the braid pattern is looking like it is a donut a cute little donut um and yeah it's not a lot you don't want it to be too small but you don't want it to be too big that it's too bulky but you just want like a medium size like circular donut and notice how i'm not using too much braiding hair to braid it it's mostly being braided down by her natural hair just to keep it lightweight and you know it still has you know strength like to give it longevity because we added a little bit of braiding hair to start with so um yeah that's pretty much all we did Thank you. 
Okay, so now to hide the ends of your cornrows, um, you know, that little piece sticking out, all you have to do is just take your crochet latch hook and crochet it into the cornrows. Um, you don't have to sew it in, so necessary. You don't even need to do any needle and thread hassle. That's why I love crochet hair, because this is so DIY friendly. Like, I've done this look in 2000. 15 or 16 and it's just so crazy how it's getting popular now all over again it's just like just like with everything different hairstyles different clothing fashion everything is always just re you know cycled so that's what we're seeing here with this particular hairstyle i love it it's a timeless piece and it's a vibe so yeah as you can see she's just crocheting that into the cornrows very tension free you know and it's not gonna hurt you you could do it by yourself you don't even need a hairstylist to do this for you that's how amazing this is okay so the hair we're gonna be using today is the passion twist hair from our line this is mostly Lux passion twist hair super soft super bouncy as you can see I'm going to split the hair and just look at how easily it splits and this is always my issue when I have like curly hair when you try to break it apart it gets all tangly but not with this hair no ma'am it's so soft and it's like literally splits apart so easily and it's just amazing anyway so I decided not to show you guys the illusion crochet technique that we did in this particular video but you can access our um, illusion crochet technique on our online class it's like it's like a bonus feature i broke it down into three parts for you guys so if you're interested make sure you check it out with the link below and now you see kinde doing the stitch braids in the front now kinde is our like stitch expert at the salon she does amazing stitch braids and oh my god you guys should see her tuck game when it comes to stitch braids if you haven't go to our instagram right now at glam by mary braiders club braiding salon or more <laughs> This braid, she can braid her ass off, stitch braids on, on 10. I'm going to be showing you guys a few of our stylists' work as we go along um, on this channel as well. You're going to be seeing them um, mostly. <laughs> so, yeah, I just want you guys to get familiar with them, get familiar with their work as well. And, you know, so that way when you're booking your appointments, you have an online portfolio of their work to refer to. And so that way you can see and know exactly who you're booking with and, their skill sets and everything so make sure you guys are checking out our instagram i also tag the braiders as well so that way when you're booking you can book directly under them um so yeah you guys so this is how it get it goes down or it gets down so i'm just gonna let you guys watch and i'm gonna fall back and i'll catch you guys when we are almost done
so as you can see the hair is coming together so nicely look at how neat those braids are look at how curly and juicy those crochet hair is looking like almost look i had to go do this hairstyle for myself okay if you go on our instagram you see that i actually did this hair but i didn't use crochet hair i used um bundles to do it and i did like a coming to america inspired style look like it was so cute it was really really cute i hope you guys like it so go ahead and check it out i post more on instagram i try to post like three times a day like three like insta reels like um tutorials a day on instagram so like a lot of our day-to-day -day, um looks at the salon are posted on instagram especially on our stories so make sure you guys are checking them out make sure you guys are actually following so you can you know see our work and everything but i'm trying as hard as i can to be consistent with youtube but the thing with youtube is that it's just a lot of work like you have to sit down and edit and do all of that whereas instagram i just i be in my car on my phone just editing busting out the videos boom 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 i don't have to do voiceovers either <laughs> don't get me wrong i love talking to you guys but it can be overwhelming having to do voiceovers on every single video but um anyway so we're gonna be adding beads onto this look just to give it a bit of that tribal that cute fun look and i think this hairstyle will also be amazing on kids as well like if you have a kid and she wants to do like curly hair this is a great way to also kind of make it fun for her like add some beads onto it and everything like, this is such a diverse like like a multi like anybody can wear this hair is what i'm trying to say anybody can wear this hair doesn't matter how old you are like you can wear it i've had clients that was getting this hair back in 2016 like and they were much older like moms and they rock the shiz out of this hair it's insane anyway so the, the beads we decided to use were these white ones you can opt for the brown like wooden style beads those are really really cute as well but we just wanted to try something a bit different so that's why we chose this particular one and we whenever we do our beads we always tie it first cut it and then we burn it so that way it gives it a more like clean look as opposed to putting the braids over a bead and wrapping it with like a um, elastic band i just feel like that can be a bit messy especially if the braids are a bit thicker at the end um so this method this method really really works so um, you can try it next time but um anyways this is what the hair is looking like we're not done yet first we have to apply some mousse onto the hair of course of course you cannot forget the mousse um so our um, as you might do guys this is our salon manager we just wanted to try this look on her by the way and um, she does not have baby hairs meaning that her baby hairs are long so there there were no way like there was no way that we could do like any baby hairs for this look um, so we're just applying some mousse to the hair just to give that curl, you know, a bit of definition and just fluff it up a bit. And then we're going to do some trimming just to, you know, clean it up, give it a shape and all. But you guys, this is the look. I hope you guys like it. If you do, thumbs up this video. Go on Google at Braid Ass Club Braiding Salon and leave us a review. Let us know how you like our hairstyles. Let us know what you want to see from us and just... Anything you want to let us know, feel free to do so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a merry day and God bless you.